Chapter 24. I love you. Now, could you grab me the bandages? On Valentine's Day this year, I managed to stab myself with an ice cream scooper. Yep, when I do Valentine's Day, I really do Valentine's Day. To the point where medical attention may be needed. That's how much I love you, Donna. Enough to brave hell, high water, family reunions and possible impalement with an ice cream scoop. Now, before you write in thinking I'm going to join your very obscure ice cream scooper related S&M kink, know that it was completely unintentional. Drawing blood while attempting to serve up dessert was not on the agenda. In fact, I'll put it right down the bottom of the things I hope happen on February 14th list, just under a visit by religious lunatics ready to serve up a sermon on my doorway. Now, the plan was to serve up some homemade apricot ice cream to my wife in a display of culinary brilliance that would have left the hardiest of MasterChef judges drooling in anticipation. This would have been a far cry from the handwritten card, box of chocolates, or flower deliveries I usually count on, but I figured it was worth a shot. What woman doesn't like a man who can cook? Or in this case, work a freezer. Conjuring up memories of my mother's amazing homemade dried apricot ice cream from when my brother Guy and I were kids, I figured I was onto a complete and utter winner here, and I'd be drowning in brownie points before the night's end. What happened instead was an interesting mess on a plate that I had to saw out of the bowl, coupled with a quick trip to the bathroom cabinet by my bemused wife for a bandage. Now, the idea was solid. Find a decent recipe for dried apricot ice cream. Yes, I should have asked my mum, but the idea was a last minute one, and I needed something quickly. Whip up a batch the night before and win major husband points for the rest of the year when I wheeled out my frozen surprise. Only, this was my very first attempt at making anything even remotely ice cream related, and in my attempt to win eight Michelin stars in one hit, I missed a couple of steps. Namely, I don't have an ice cream maker. This would probably have improved everything to no end, and made the ice cream actually look similar to actual ice cream, not the frozen solid block blob of creamy mix that I whipped up. Instead of constantly churning the mix, I just threw it in the freezer, which resulted in an ice cream that had two layers and patches of random ice crystals throughout. The orange juice mix hung around the top, which meant the chunks of dried apricot all moved to the bottom of the bowl in a kind of Jackson Pollock-like frozen chunky spew motif. Lovely. You just don't see these kind of rare techniques on TV. You know how in food websites and magazines, they always make the orange ice cream look bloody amazing. Complete with perfect measured scoops and a sprig of fresh mint on top for decoration. Well, I didn't have any mint left. And when I tried to make my dish worthy for an Instagram moment, it all came horribly undone. Now, while I was worried about it not freezing for some reason, it went completely the other way and came out harder than Wolverine's adamantium skeleton. For those non-comic fans joining us, think of it as tough as a freeway retaining wall. And after some time in the microwave, on defrost, it was still set on diamond density. But I figured that with a bit of stiff upper lipidness, I could carve enough off to make a semblance of a dessert. So I took the now warmed up bowl of hot water ice cream scooper and went to town. I put a little pressure on it and snap! The metal scoop came off the plastic handle in an act of furious rebellion. Of course, with the pressure I was putting on the scoop to actually dig into the frozen block, the momentum pushed it through the air, and the follow-through made me slam it into my chest. Yes, I accidentally stabbed myself with half an ice cream scoop. Kind of like ramming the non-pointy end of a pen into your solar plexus for shits and giggles. After a loud grunt from the hit that would make a warthog proud, I was hesitant to look down, lest there was a handle still embedded in my stomach. Thankfully, there wasn't. And I'd like to say it was due to it bouncing off my surgical steel-like abdominal muscles, but the truth was the broken end wasn't sharp enough to impale the chef of the year. It did leave a nasty mark and hell of a deep scratch in passing, and my wife raced in to see what trouble I'd found myself in this time. There was a little blood, yes, but thankfully not enough to have me explaining to the local emergency department how an attempt at dried apricot ice cream had gone horribly wrong. I bet that's a first for paramedics, though. After Donna fished out a band-aid, the now completely useless scooper hit the bin, and I carefully used a serrated knife to saw out a couple of bowls of the sweet stuff. Who knew a knife usually reserved for slicing through crusty bread would turn out pretty handy when I was making dessert? I actually should send a note of thanks to the knife makers. The ice cream was, well, pretty tasty actually. Four out of five stars I'd give it. Probably a couple of apricot chunk batches too many, but hey, I enjoyed it for my first attempt, once I got past the random patches of ice caves throughout the mix. And my wound is healing nicely, thanks for asking. 
There probably won't be a scar to tell the grandkids about, however, which is a bonus. Next time when it comes to ice cream, though, I might just leave things to the professionals and grab some from the supermarket on the way home from work. Less chance of a stabbing that way. Now, after all that, has anyone got a good recipe for chocolate mousse?